Hey, y'all, it's me. Why don't you just take a walk with me and let me show you how I turned this plain little armoire into a beautiful coffee bar. I always love to tell stories while I am making a video. I just feel like y'all need a story. You know, you don't need just to paint tutorial video. I need to just like tell you something in between. I just feel like I owe it to you. <laughs> I just need to get it off my heart and tell you about my story. This TV armoire was given to me for free. You heard me right. It was free. I didn't know what in the world I was going to do with it. I'm looking at it going, what am I going to do? And then all of a sudden, the piece started talking. It said, hey, I think I would like to be a coffee bar. I'm like, what a marvelous idea that you have. A coffee bar you shall be. <laughs> So I wanted to fancy it up. I took a damask pattern stencil and some sheetrock mud and lightly applied it to the back and the sides of the inside piece. And it also had that big hole in it, so my hubby fixed that with a thin piece of mahogany, but I still needed to do something with that. So hang around, let me show you what I did. I was thinking about this coffee bar and it needed a little oomph, a little extra, cause you know I'm extra. So I decided it needed that little chandelier there because it's pretty and I like it. It's got all them crystals hanging on it. It's just a little extra touch. And that extra touch is always good, right? I wanted to tell you a story about me and my extra self when I was in the third grade, literally, I was extra then. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> kind of got a little carried away there. <laughs> These videos were taken during a live on DIY Paint Network. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the molds and how I put those on this coffee bar. We've always lived in a small town. Our school was a very small school. And literally my sister's graduation class, I think had 26 in it. Mine was one of the biggest that had came through and we had 32, so go figure. Just saying it was small. Six weeks before school was out, our parents moved and we weren't allowed by the school district to continue the rest of the year in this little school. Why? I don't know why. Ended up having to change schools to the town next to us. And it was very big in comparison to my small little town school. And it had upstairs, downstairs, and I was like totally freaked out. Old school, letterpress gray, black velvet, gravel rodent, beadboard. This is my color palette for this piece. I have already laid black velvet on as a base coat. I am now just going to layer these colors over this piece, creating a really nice, rich texture. DIY chalk paint is amazing. There's only nine ingredients, plus love, of course. No VOCs. The best clay chalk paint in the industry, in my opinion. One particular day, for some reason, there was a special occasion. Now, I'm in the third grade. Who even thinks of these things other than extra people? But that day, I just needed to really dress up. For some reason, I don't know, maybe I made it up in my mind. I don't know. That's very possible because I was a little extra girl and I like to wear high heels if I could slip around and get them. And mama would be like, you too little, but I like high heels and, and I like dress up stuff. And yeah, I don't know, maybe it was up here in my little third grade mind, but I needed to be extra that day. <laughs> Chalk paint is reactivated by water. To get a blended effect, I use just a little bit of water as I paint. And as you can tell on this, I am going back and forth with my different brushes. I am wiping the brush off in between, almost kind of like dry brushing. And that's how I get that blended effect. I go back and forth one way, back and forth the other way and wiping my brush in between. This is how I get that beautiful, blended, seamless look on my furniture. I love it. That day, I felt like I needed to wear my new dress. You had this lady in church make this dress for me and my cousin Kay. And y'all, I thought I was styling and profiling. It was a brown background and it had little caps 
all over it. We love cats. We were the cat whispers. We saved the wild cats from the woods. And we'd be scratched all up, but we saved those cats. Along with that dress, we both had high heels. I remember them being probably about that tall. That was pretty high for a third third grader. My mom was like, those are church shoes. You cannot wear them to school. I'm like, mama, I, they go with this dress and I've got to wear them. I need to wear them. I felt like this piece needed some color on the molds on the back. I didn't want it to be monochrome. So I started adding color into the birds and the molds and the flowers. And the more I added, ugh, I wasn't digging it at all. It just was too bright, too bold. It wasn't what I was going for. I needed a more subtle look. After I finished, it looked like this, but I still wasn't pleased. It's like wearing the saints down. I wore her down. And I wore that cat dress and those high heels to the school rings and I only have a little bit to get down to the next next class. And notice I said get down because there was some flights of stairs. You had to go down one flight and go down one flight and go down and, and yeah. And then all these kids are just shoving and pushing and shoving and pushing. My little extra self was trying to rush downstairs to wobble around on them heels down them stairs. And it just goes blank. But all I do remember was the foot did the uh, wobble, wobble, wobble. And my little extra chubby self was flung and hurtled almost into eternity, I felt like. To give this piece a soft, washed out look, I added clear wax and then I started adding my favorite, white wax. It is dreamy looking. It just washes it out and gives it that perfect vintage washed out look that I'm going for. I was hurtled down them stairs. All I can hear is a resounding laugh as I pass those children on those stairs as I roll and felt like a meatball on top of old Smokey rolling down. I, so I just did. I fell. I just rolled. I just, all I can remember was laughter. My little chubby self rolling down them stairs. I was hoping I'd be like knocked out and passed out so nobody would talk to me, but I don't, I don't think that happened. I, I don't remember how I got up. Just to know I was humiliated. That's all I remember. So I guess the moral of that story is when your mama tells you, don't wear them heels to school and you're in the third grade, then you better listen to your mama. Don't wear those heels to school with that cat dress. Mind your mama. Here she is, the finished product. I love the way this turned out. It's exactly the way I envisioned it. It has such a vintage, dreamy, enchanting feel to it. And that little chandelier adds just the right extra touch. For any of the products that I used in this video, see the description box below. And if you have not joined my YouTube channel, just go hit the subscribe button and hit the post notification button so you will be in the know for the next video. And as always, love y'all. I did wear my church though. I'm just saying I did. I have another shoe story I'll tell you later on. It was even worse. It was. That's another story for another day. <laughs>